I have a question. What? Are you gonna be doing a video? Yep. Alright. So everything is on. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and load in. I'm just gonna do a direct to our primary uh, airport here, KTKX. Water. KTKX. Oh, well, you didn't grant it. And then the other side. So that'll get us to where we're supposed to go. But we're gonna use the, this guy anything. up here to get around the airspace first. Pressures are good. All pressures are good. We're at 60, so we're we're going flying. 70, 80. She's ready. Gear is up. Fuel pressure. All pressure are good. and then we'll stay right there until we get out of the airspace for Atlanta. And then we'll climb on up to where we're going. All right, so at the moment we are outside of Atlanta. And we're going direct to our first airport where we're going to get gas. Um, the uh, airplane's doing perfect. Oil pressures, fuel pressures are all good. Um, we're at 4,500 feet right now, and we're doing about 165 knots. Under traffic, Skylark 3037. And as long as it plans, stays, we're going to make a 180 here and enter the left crosswind, um, staying in the pattern. Under traffic. As long as it stays. Um, smooth, I think I'm going to stay right here, because the higher we go, the more the wind gets us. So I think we're going to kind of hang out at 4,500 feet. Take a look at the nav log here, or the uh, profile. We're well above everything between here and there. So we ought to be okay there. And we'll skirt along here and just watch everything. But so far, um, everything is flying perfect.
everything, we're still at 4,500 feet. It's nice and smooth, and the air temperature is comfortable here, so just, we're still, we've got about 155 knot ground speed. We're laying a peak, burning about 18, 17, 18 gallons per side. Um, engines are nice and cool, oil temps are good, pressures are all good, so no visible signs of anything wrong, so we are cruising along smooth as glass. So far the trip is awesome. So, right now we're flying over the Mississippi River. We got Archer near Gunners are you transitioning or, are you or not really over it, we're flying Archer is gonna be landing with along the with it. Over the field, see what the wind is doing. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's kind of hazy out here, but it's not too bad. It's actually really, really nice. It's nice to be back out here and flying the airplane. We, we used to do this once a month. We used to go to see a customer or do something, and it's uh, it, this is the first time we've done this, I think, all year. So, kind of sucks, but it's awesome to be back out here. Lockheed is final one way zero two. Can it? All right. Props are full, mixtures are full. The fuel pumps are on, gear is down. Fuel pumps are on, mixtures and props are full, trim is set. And Kennett traffic, uh, Lockheed is departing runway 02, Kennett. Nobody be coming. Approaching runway 02. Entered runway 02, 4,900 feet remaining. Fuel pumps on, controls free and clear. Fuel's on the rear tanks again. Tail wheel is locked. Pressures are looking good. All pressures are good. Fuel pressures are good. Here, ninety five. Back to 30. Fuel and all are good. So we are about 27 minutes out, 61 miles. We got a pretty good headwind right now. We're doing about a 140 knot ground speed. We're at 4,500 feet. Airplane's doing perfect. So 
pretty happy with all that. The oil temperature on the left engine is a little high, but it, 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 according to Joe, the thing always runs a little warm on the oil temperature. I don't, I don't know exactly why. So, but nothing detrimental. It's just a little warmer than I like. So, but the we got past the storm and it's clear as a bell out here. It's it's beautiful. So we're looking forward to getting down and getting some lunch. Storm that we're going to have to navigate to get around. So what we're going to try to do is once we get fuel. We're going to be coming in from this direction, and we're going to get over as close as we can to the storm, and then we're going to head north and try to come around, or we're going to come around behind it, because the airport we're going to is right here at the top, and in fact, I don't think they're even getting much rain up there where Dan and them are right now, so we're just going to shoot around the top of it and, and come in behind it, because trying to go around it, it's just, it's a massive storm, so we'd have to go into Oklahoma and stuff to try to get around the back side of it, so that's our current plan, is get gas, head as close as we feel comfortable, and then go in north to, to go around the top of it. Alright, so we are five minutes from Stearman Field. We've got one guy here in front of us that's crossing our path. He's about seven miles in front of us. And then we got another guy coming in that's going to get to the airport just in front of us. He's off to our south a little bit. Okay, that guy yeah, Stearman is... Stearman traffic is 140 Fox, 10 miles to the southeast. Still planning on crossing midfield, going left down. That guy is exactly at our height. And we are at 3,500. Yeah, he's been coming downhill. All right, so we are about 12 miles out. And Stearman traffic lock eats about 12 miles southeast inbound Stearman. Traffic. 10 o'clock, 2 miles, 1,000 feet. Uh, All right, eight. maintain 4,000, one four zero five. All right, are you coming in behind the Lockheed, or are you going to go in now? Sierra Fox, right? Uh, Sierra, Sierra Fox is going to go ahead and line up for runway 17, one four zero five. Fox. All right, Lockheed's going to cross midfield and enter in a right downwind, runway 17, Stearman. Where is he at? Uh, he just, he just, he just crossed. Traffic testified 926, Tango is clear, 17, Stearman. He's going already. All right, we're going rich.
Going back to 20. All right, I don't have any more traffic in my way. Ready for impact. And Stearman traffic, Lockheed's final runway 35, Stearman. Captain Land, go long, land, long, go all the way to the end. I'll be on a scooter at the very end. I'll show you where to park. All right. And this is 14 Sierra Fox. Where uh, should we park? We are clear over runway YouTuber to sign the board at the YouTube fly in. My last name? Yep. If you remember what it is. <laughs> and you can write it. Do you remember how to spell it? You spell, hey, you spelled that wrong. Pull <laughs> these all the little wimpy jets out of the way. All right, got the brakes. Throttle, 1700 RPM. All right, so RPM's over here. Okay. We're going to hold the stick back. All right. So 17. Frag check. All right, and then we're going to do the props. Okay. So one of the things about this airplane is the... Uh, this is your RPM on your props. All right, we're going to check the voltage, amperage. Suction gauge is over in the side. So everything's looking good on that. So we're going to go ahead and pull this back. Um, one of the things about this airplane is if you pull these all the way back, they don't feather the props. They just RPM. Got it. If you have a problem, you just hit the button. Okay. So, so you don't you don't have to touch anything up here. You hit that button and it's going to feather the prop. This is the left, this is the right? Yep. Yep. Awesome. So, okay. All right, so what is the altitude here? Do y'all know? It was like 1360-ish. All right. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and do the right one. And you want to make sure that that valve switches back to, to operating this. All right. All right. All right. Manifold heat. Yeah, okay, it's all down. So we're all, we're all good. All right, so for this takeoff, we're going to turn. We're going to get out here on the runway. Why are we not hearing these airplanes? Are they not using their radio? All right. 2307. I guess they were. Uh, All right, so just to kind of brief this, um, we're going to close our windows because it gets very, very loud. Yeah. Um, well, we will 
get it up, get the tail up. We're going to accelerate to about 80, 85, and she'll start to hop. She'll want to get off the ground. We're kind of heavy. The number one thing is if we have any kind of engine problems, I may get you to help me, but we want to stay above 90 miles an hour. All right. No matter what. If we skim leaves at the end of the runway, it does not matter. We're, we've we got to stay above 90 miles an hour. So, okay. so typically... When if if I have any kind of problem, I don't. I'm literally aiming at the trees. That way, I don't even have to think about the speed. I just try to get as close to the trees as possible, and I know I'm going to have enough speed to get everything cleaned up and and going. Okay. But the big thing is just to push the right button. So we'll have to identify which engine's giving us problems and and make sure we get the right one. So flaps are good. Trim is going to be kind of hard to tell, but I'll get it as we go. Okay. We'll go ahead and close these. You got to push on it, yep. pull it down and kind of... Ah, oh, there we there go. go. Thanks. All right, y'all ready? Everybody's buckled in? Yep, buckled in. And Stammerfield, Rockies, part of runway 17. All right, so when we're running down the runway, the number one thing we're watching are these two oil pressure and fuel pressure gauges. Yep. So fuel pumps are on, mixtures, props are full. Flaps are up. Trim is set. Controls free and clear. All right, so there's a tailwheel lock right here. So once you get straight, you're going to lock the tailwheel. This kind of helps you landing later. So now we were just below 30, so I'm going to push the props up. We're going to get right around 30. We ought to be seeing around 18, 1900 RPM, and that's what we're looking for, watching the oil pressure. Okay. All right, so RPM's good, going to 36 inches. Oil and fuel are good. Bell's coming up. Bunch of heavy people in the back. So we're looking for 80. All right, so she's ready to fly, so we're gonna lift her up. Gear's coming up immediately, brakes. Aiming for 90. Oil pressure, fuel pressure are good. Now I'm going to come back to 30 inches. 883 X-rays, back taxiing 17 to the run-up area. Stearman. We're going to go about 2,000 RPM. All right, and then just get the trim set here. We want to climb out about a 120, so you got the airplane. All right, I have bike control. I'll take this. What do you think, Christy? Uh, it's amazing. All right, so I'm going to bring it on back to about 27 inches here. Okay. And 19 on the RPM. All right, let me know what I'll trim. Trim is right here. Okay. So, uh, th this, I mean, wherever, in anywhere in here is fine. Okay. Maybe 2,500 feet. And you probably want to turn because I think we're... Do you want me to turn oh, to the left or to well, the right? Well, uh, shit. I don't know what... It's Let's go ahead and turn to the left because I know there's a yeah. delta over yeah. here. So. Yeah, you're okay. Just turn to the left. Right pattern here. We're just turning out. We're getting away from the deltas that are out here. Yeah, Stearman Field, uh, Lockheed's going to be uh, moving out here to the south of the field. Yeah, it's got you right here. Awesome. All right. Are there any air spaces out this way that I need to be concerned uh, with? Uh, it's pretty clear out awesome. here. Awesome. The trim tab is right here and it's very sensitive, so okay. you barely touch it and it'll... I was going to say, she feels really good right now, so yeah. just keeping her right around 120, 125. Yeah, when you get uh, up here a little bit, you're going to end up pushing the nose over more than you think, okay. so you'll need the trim in a second. Got it, okay. Alright, so all the 
after takeoff stuff done. All right, 2,500, so. so. You'll just push the nose over and you'll have to adjust the trim. All as right, you. and then this is forward? Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of okay. mixture here. Hey, Glenn. Yes, sir. Uh, what airfield is this over to the right? Off the right we've got. Uh, it's... That's... Munis uh, Augusta Municipal. Okay. And Chrissy, let's get an introduction of, of who he is and, and everything, if you can. All right. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about the airplane. Uh, well, I don't know whose airplane this is. <laughs> <laughs> we just showed up yesterday and at the key right away. So many of you are making videos that I just love to watch, and um, I, I'm completely shocked. Um, these videos along the way, I, I never planned on um, doing these videos. I just love to build stuff, and I love aviation, and I love to share it. And uh, I think we're really fortunate. I've, I've been in a, a lot of fun events over the years working with a lot of great people 
And when I found aviation about 20 years ago, I found a new family that is so important to me and so full of compassion and love and and kindness. I, I, I've never been anywhere that people weren't willing to help out with a flat tire or a problem or whatever it is. Every one of you are always standing up and, and helping every other aviator. And so I, I became drawn to it and became passionate about it and uh, started to share it. And um, my gosh, you guys are amazing. <laughs> So we are 5,500 feet on the way home. We had an absolute blast out there at the YouTube thing at Stearman Field. It's a beautiful airport. Lots and lots of nice people. Enjoyed talking to everybody, and we flew this thing a lot. So the airplane's probably happy to be going home. But it was a blast.